Hi, my love. This is going to be your energy check-in reading. Um, I'm going to be using um, multiple decks. I have the Crystal Angel Oracle, the um, Earth Magic, and the Rider Waite, and a Major Arcana deck as well. Um, and I'm just going to pull, and we're just going to spit out what comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Spit out what comes out, whatever spirit wants to say. Um, so let me cleanse the table from the previous reading. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of tune in and see what's going on with you. Okay. Spirit is showing me a gift, like a present, and unwrapping it, okay? Um, I'm going to try and figure out what, what they are talking about. Now, if you have a birthday coming up, it could be that. Maybe that's why Spirit's showing that. But also, I feel like there's a, there, there's a, a gift that needs to be revealed to you, okay? So maybe you are um, working on your... Um, your intuition, your skills, you know, because I know you read cards. So there could be a new gift being revealed to you. This could be a new guide being revealed to you. Um, you're unwrapping something. You're revealing something. Interesting. We pulled the lovers for you. Okay, Spirit's also showing there's a horse that's coming through. It's like a white horse. Um, ooh, to me, horses, they're about transportation. Um, transportation, travel. <laughs> okay, I thought that was the same card that came up for the other client, but it's not, it's different. Transportation, travel, um, if there's a, if there's a, a big, trip you're going to be taking soon you could be meeting someone there this could be a long distance relationship that spirit is revealing to you that could be on the horizon um also with the white horse like you know like how they have that saying we're, we're waiting for prince charming to to ride up on his horse that's the other impression i was getting and maybe that's the intention you've been setting for yourself for relationships like you're literally looking for prince charming Okay, sorry, but I feel like spirit today is being very sassy. They were like that with my last client. Okay, um, okay, so first off, we have the lovers coming up for you. Um, lovers, to me, with your current energy, is telling me that you're definitely in preparation mode for, for love. You're, you're preparing yourself for romance. You're preparing yourself to divide, uh, divide yourself as a whole into two parts. You're ready to mate. <laughs> You're ready to to devote your life, to devote, you know, your, to dedicate yourself to someone else. You're you're literally in preparation mode for that. Um, the other thing that I'm seeing here is the craving for companionship and the craving for not just romantic wise, but also friends. Okay, so there could be um, a recent need for that support system, and maybe you haven't been receiving it um, as much as you thought you would. And maybe you're on the lookout for new friends. You're looking for some new companions that you can call true friends because maybe the ones that you've had, you're outgrowing them. Um, the other thing is the lover's card can also display choices, having to make a choice, um, usually between two things. So if you are on the, the horizon, maybe you are in the, on the eve of a, <laughs> of a crossroads, you're gonna have to you know, be making a big decision soon. So that's another thing that could be popping up for you energetically wise. From the Crystal Angels, I pulled Tanzanite. This is ready to love again. Freaking love it, girl. Okay, ready to love again. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. That combined with the lovers is telling me, and it should be telling you, you are 100% ready for a relationship. And I just saw 444. I don't know if 444 is a number sequence that you see all the time, but that I literally just zoned in on that. So 
take a note of that in your reading. Um, look up what 444 means. We were just talking about preparing and being ready for love. So that's spirit. That's another message from your spirit guides. Um, so the ready to love again to me is telling me, you, you know, you are, you were literally ready for it. You've been working on yourself. I feel like the experience is showing me like a broom cleaning, dusting out. You have been dusting out that heart chakra. You have been cleaning. You have been getting yourself prepared for new love. Um, I feel like it's on the way. Okay. Um, but what made me laugh is I pulled tsunami, the wake up call. Okay. Um, I feel like this is spirits, <laughs> spirits gentle way of saying, wake up don't fall for the same old same old okay i feel like that's a spirit saying is like you have a tendency to fall for a certain type they want you to look away from that and to me the tsunami what tsunamis do is they they literally come in and wipe out everything in its path right and so, so to me <laughs> it's like saying spirit is saying we're giving you a gentle warning that if you still fall into the same old patterns with love we're wiping it out it's almost like they have been wiping out past potentials, <laughs> potential lovers that maybe you've been dating and, and talking to for the sake of they are, spirit is like, stop wasting your time. This is the same, this is the same person in a different body <laughs> and you have a type. Um, and it's like spirit is saying, if you really want true romance and love, you need to step outside of your comfort zone. You need to kind of, you know, sorry. <laughs> I need my water. <laughs> you need to see what else is out there. Um, so that's like another feeling I'm getting from spirit. <sighs> Sorry. I've learned my lesson. I have water with me now when I do readings because I get so thirsty. <laughs> okay. So now that we've seen that, um, I will say for a fact, the root chakra, I'm not the root chakra, your heart chakra, number one chakra right now um, that you need to be putting in love and attention to as well as your sacral, okay? Your sacral is your sexuality, the way you express yourself sexually. It's also your creative um, chakra. But um, I feel like the sacral and root, I'm, I keep saying root because I just read that for my last client, sorry. Sacral and heart, um, sacred heart, <laughs> sorry, um, is to me the two chakras you need to be putting more time and attention to right now. Okay. Um, especially as you are literally like you are putting out the mating calls to attract love into your life. Like you're ready for it, but spirit is saying wake up call. Like you need to switch it up a little bit. Stop going for the same old, same old, or we're going to wipe it out. <laughs> before it even has a chance to, you know, evolve. Unless, of course, you're settling for, like, a night fling or something, you know, then that's different. Okay. So, for the root chakra, <laughs> we have the three of swords. For the, um, the sacral, we have four of wands. For the solar plexus, we have nine of swords. Um, heart chakra, we have ten of cups. The throat, we have the eight of cups. Um, your third eye, we have the Empress, and your crown, we have the Page of Pentacles. And your, your uh, fear card, we have Ace of Cups. Really interesting. So, for me, your root chakra as the Three of Swords, what grounds you or what rips your, literally what, what rips your ass apart <laughs> is broken heart and literally like the fear of love, turning into another heartbreak, okay? So whatever, as much as love grounds you, being in a relationship grounds you, it also rips you apart, okay? So it's kind of that double-edged sword is how I'm seeing this, this card. Um, so we wanna make sure that you strengthen that too with your root chakra. Do not let your past define you. I feel like that's what spirit wants you to know too. Do not let your past define you. Do not let the exes through. Um, spirit really wants you to put a block on past lovers that no longer hold a place in your life. Um, that's another thing that they're, that they're saying. With your sacral chakra, this is like your creation and your sexual energy. <laughs> Four of Wands tells me you're ready to nest, okay? Ready to nest. You're ready to find the one who's serious, the one who wants to, you know, spend every day together. <laughs> okay, maybe not every day, but you know what I mean? Like they want to move in, do 
you know, play house, that kind of thing. Like you want that kind of re relationship, that kind of energy. Four of Wands tells me that you are definitely seeking that. You're seeking something serious. You're not looking for the flings. You're not looking for one night stands. You want something dedicated and true. Um, this is also the marriage card. So definitely is what you're, what you're seeking, seeking out of a relationship is that commitment, whether it's marriage or just, you know, a partnership commitment. Um, and then the third thing that I'm seeing is stability. Relationships do stabilize you. Okay. Now there's a fine line with that where being in love and a relationship will make you feel solid and whole and stable and have a purpose. But at the same time, um, don't let that become your crutch. Okay. You know what I mean? Like that could also be quickly become a toxicity for you. So just keep that in mind. Um, your solar plexus, your happiness and your health meter, the, the nine of swords popping up girl is saying there's a lot of stress involved. Okay. Lots of stresses, which keep you up at night, which causes you to have lack of sleep or insomnia. Um, so if you're suffering from that, if you're suffering from headaches, if you're suffering from just overthinking things, um, you have a laundry list of worries. This is, this is damaging the solar plexus. So, um, I would say make sure that you're giving a lot of love to the solar plexus. Um, to me, this is also going back to finding things that truly make you happy. Solar plexus is that initial gut laugh. The things that make you laugh, like literal gut laughter. Um, things that just make you feel good about yourself, about life in general. We want to get you through that because nine of swords, that's that's a bit stressful. So I would say your, your solar plexus chakra needs a little bit more of um, TLC. <laughs> your heart chakra coming up with a 10 of cups. Heart chakra is good, okay? You've done a lot of healing. You've done a lot of it. Um, and I also feel like, like I said, this, this also tells me that love defines you. Love makes you feel whole. It makes you feel purposeful. Um, but don't let it turn into a negative or a toxic, okay? Um, I feel like you do and you are meant for family. You are meant to have the happy ending and it will happen, okay? I also feel like, you know, this could also, it's a 10 card and a 10 can be October. So the month of October this year could be the, the magic day, the magic month, or it could be number 10, so the 10 of every month, think that way, um, the 10. Um, but I would say October, by October, maybe something magical will be happening, okay? <laughs> um, we have, for the throat chakra, we have the Eight of Cups. <sighs> Sometimes you need to just say it, okay? This is the same advice I gave to my other client. client. If you have stuff to say, you need to just get it out, okay? Walking away from stuff is like that you've been meaning to, to address. This could be with other people. Um, by not speaking your truth, it will eventually just create chaos with your throat chakra. So I feel like there's a need to um, speak your mind at times, but then also I see this as a wiseness to walk away. <laughs> um, especially if that is teamed up with somebody from the past. Okay, sometimes it's best to walk away. You have someone trying to ring you up, someone trying to be in your DM that you know you don't want to talk to or you shouldn't be talking to anymore, walk away, okay? So that's like another, I feel like that intuitively is popping up for you. Um, we have the third eye chakra with the empress, beautiful energy with your third eye. Um, as a reader, you are absolutely tuned in. Empress energy is telling me that you own it. Um, you're very much creatively run through your third eye. So you, 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 you live your daily, your day to day with your intuition, which is beautiful. You're going to be creating magic from that. So keep it up. I would say your third eye chakra is very strong, um, with that Empress energy. She's also nurturing too. So making sure you're taking care, I would dedicate a day out of the week for simple third eye chakra love, okay? <laughs> cleansing your house, cleansing your space, cleansing yourself, wearing those beautiful amethysts or carrying some you know beautiful amethysts with you, doing those beautiful third eye chakra meditations, just dedicating out at least once a week some love to your third eye, okay? And then we have the crown chakra for you with the page of pentacles. This to me, like I said, I feel like you're gonna be receiving a new guide or leveling up like I was saying earlier, um, that page of pentacle is it, okay? So you be open to receiving what comes your way. Again, I just saw 1444, 444. So please, 
<laughs> please look that up. I don't know if 444, maybe that's your number. Maybe that's how you know spirit is talking to you, but I just saw it again. So that's to me, and we're talking about the crown chakra. So that to me is a hit. Like it's somebody on the other side is wanting your attention, okay? Need to open up and, and receive what it is that they want to tell you, okay? With the page of pentacles. Um, like I said, if this is a new guide that's coming your way, they may be coming soon, especially in terms of love. So if you do eventually stumble upon that special someone, like I said, maybe October-ish, October, um, that might be the same time, the same season where you will be having a new guide stepping in. Could be a horse. I saw a horse. I, you know, but then again, horse can also display travel um transportation and love could be long distance you may be meeting somebody long distance so there's a lot of things out there <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of possibilities um the other thing i wanted to say is the fear card popping up for you or the shadow card is the ace of cups um i feel like when it comes to you expressing yourself you do pretty damn good but i feel like when it comes to fresh new relationships be careful with how much same thing with the throat be careful with how much you reveal too soon, okay? Um, I feel like Spirit is saying when you meet that special somebody, you don't have to reveal all of the baggage right off the bat, okay? Save it. Save it. Sometimes it's better to walk away. Don't share. You know what I mean? Um, be very choosy with how much of yourself you give to somebody when you're like literally on date one or two. Um, you don't have to put all the dirty laundry out there for all to see, allow them to get to know you, you get to know them, and that's part of dating, is you guys get to know each other slowly. You're on, maybe that's why I saw the present. You're slowly revealing, you're slowly opening up that gift to reveal all of you. Like literally, that could be why Spirit was showing that. So that's interesting. Um, so like I said, be careful with how much of yourself to give. You don't always have to be an open book. Okay, you don't always have to <laughs> let everything come flowing out of you all at once. Okay, let that person work for it. All right. So my love, this concludes your energy check in reading. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. Um, if you have any questions, send me a message. And anyone who's watching this, this is um, um, like, a, like a nice little summer sale that I'm offering with the energy check-in reading. So they're on sale $40. If you would like to book one, check out the description box. I'll have all the information out there for you. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, my loves.